We often ask ourselves, who am I? Or why I was born this way? We live in a world where people are judged and criticized for their appearance, abilities, and even the way they express themselves. Um, Best Buddies is an organization where they pair up somebody with an intellectual or a developmental disability with someone who doesn't have one, and they basically build a one-on-one -on -one friendship. Ready? Yep. Best Buddies has impacted my life in many ways. It's um, helped me decide what I want to major in in college, um, and it has just um, just kind of like opened my eyes to see um, like how I shouldn't take things for granted. And I just love seeing like all the kids that have been impacted through Best Buddies. Um, so this is my sister. Uh, she's older than me. Uh, she's 23 and I am 16. And um, we have a really good relationship. She definitely has taught me a lot. Um, just like not to take what I have for granted and to always see the positive sides of things because she's always pretty positive and um, I just love having Karina as my sister. Good, nice, boy. fun stuff. I help out with um, her Special Olympics bowling, so that's something we like to do together. She bowls and I help on her lane, and we have a lot of fun doing that. Are you still coloring your Disney princess? Yep. Do you remember what princess I told you it was? With that girl right there. Yeah, it's a girl, but do you remember what name? I don't know. Her name is Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah. Look at me, sister's boy. Yeah. Ma, she said that a guy's boy. Mm-hmm. Why? Why, boy? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. She says, you're blood. Yeah, you're fine. Why? Because. And dead. Mm-hmm. And Papa too. Karina. Do you like watching Disney movies? Yeah. What's your favorite movie? High School Musical. How did I know you were going to say that? Because you <laughs> always watch that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you like to sing and dance too, don't you? <laughs> you just like to sing in general, don't you? Yep. <laughs> My sweat is gone, boy. Yeah, Brickhale's at college. I don't call it. I love my best buddy so much. Yeah, I know. Be sure you're putting my crowns over here so they don't get mixed up with yours, okay? Okay. Thank boy. you. No, go. What color are you using? Huh? What color is that? Purple. Purple. Well, actually, that's blue, Karina. Huh? That's blue. Blue. 
What's your favorite color, though? Yellow. You like yellow? Have you used yellow on your princess yet? Not yet. Not yet. Are you going to? I have like two different colors of yellow that you can use. What color should I use, Trina? <coughs> huh? What color should I use? This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daddy yet? I don't think so. He'll be here later. Daddy you busy? Yep, he's working. Mm, back home? Yep, and then he'll be back home. Yay. He'll be home in time for dinner. Yes. You can't possibly be hungry though, can you? My mom is actually a retired um, special ed teacher, so I kind of grew up just knowing that that was like the norm. I guess she's like my role model. Um, and the reason she became a special ed teacher, she was born in the 40s, so keep that in mind. And she um, had rheumatic fever, and so she was in a wheelchair for two years. And in those two years, because her school, a public school here in Indianapolis, um, didn't have stairs, or didn't have an elevator, only stairs, so she had to go to a special needs school. And she didn't learn anything academically, so then she kind of struggled from then on. But she said it was a lot of fun, because they did like a lot of field trips and stuff. And so, but she didn't like that she was like sent away just because she was physically disabled. Um, and so that inspired her to really make an impact in including um, people with intellectual and mental disabilities. And so I just kind of followed in her footsteps. Okay, so the purpose, um, kind of going back to my mom, would just be to include everyone. I mean, everyone's different in their own way. Um, and so a lot of these students um, might not make a lot of friends, to be honest. And so this is a way to pair people up in like the middle school and high school, which are difficult ages to make friends um, in the school. But the idea is that they'll be friends outside of school and hopefully for a lifetime. Um, so that would be like the whole goal. Oh, I got four. <laughs> oh, God. I would say the impact, um, I have volunteered with Best Buddies a little bit and Special Olympics a lot. And I can honestly say it's the most fun volunteering I've had. Like, I just have a really good time. Um, they just, I don't know, I just think that people, like, they make me laugh and just have a really good time and kind of forget your worries for a little while. Um, and I actually don't have a buddy. I guess I should try to get one. But I've just facilitated the friendships. Um, and it's just great. Just like, at Whiteland, we had a, um, like, a scavenger hunt and we've had parties and it's just really fun to see them and we just kind of stand back and let them you know form their friendships and so i just it, i look forward to it um 
you know, I'll do whatever I can to try to make time to volunteer because I just, I have a good time, you know. And I always tell people that, and like it really is the most fun time I've had volunteering. researched a little bit that um, it, the same people who came up with Special Olympics, like the Shrivers, um, also came up with Best Buddies in like the 80s. Um, and then it came to Indiana in the 90s. But even though I went to high school in the 90s, I don't remember it. Um, but now I think there's about maybe 30 high schools that are involved in Indiana, which is great and I'm sure it's growing. Um, now it's middle school, high school, they help with jobs when you're older. It's um, international, so if you want to look it up like on Facebook, it's like uh, bestbuddies.org. Um, if you want to volunteer in your state or even have a buddy through email um, overseas, which is really neat. There's even famous people that um, do it, and um, so I would definitely encourage it. <laughs> Olivia, are you 16? Are you 17? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry if I didn't say hi. I tried. Did you hear me? Are you sure? They have cried. They have cried to look like you. They have prayed to walk and talk the way normal people do. And yet, they have smiled because there is nothing more important to them than having a family and friends. Go best buddies! Thank you.